You're welcome. But one thing I will say is, if you don't have any haters, you're not popping. I don't know who rapped, who said that in his song, but if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping, nigga. Let me say that again. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. So I hope that answers your question. Hi, guys. And welcome back to Vicky's Corner. So, did you hear Vivian? Okay, say, okay. <laughs> did you hear, um, did you listen? Now, Vivian, see, if you don't know Vivian on this street, it's a big YouTuber on 70k subscribers, as in she has one of the best editing skills on this street. Yes, calves down, calves. <laughs> I cut calves for her, okay? She has one of the biggest editing skills. Like, her editing skill is top notch when she when it comes to vlogging. Like, most of these big YouTubers, you know, they are doing nothing. Nothing, okay? Nah, let's keep joking about Now, you heard what she said. Vivian was on... Um, on, she did a video where she was doing a Q and A, and she was not asking questions, asking questions. And then there's this question that struck me because it's something that you know happens to me. And when they ask that question, I wanted to just hear her own. I wanted to like draw inspiration from it. So I listened so carefully, and that was the answer she gave. Now, what was the question? The question was like, how do you deal with trolls? How do you deal with haters? Okay, how do you deal with people that come to troll you and your comment? How do you deal with people that take your, you know? Take your name and say bad things on the internet and all that. And that was an answer. I believe that you heard her before you entered the video, right? Mm -hmm. So according to her, she said that <laughs> no haters, no growth. If you not get haters, you never they grow. I know that I've always been saying this thing here before. Now, you know that some persons feel that on the streets is only reactors that have haters. Yes, yeah, some people feel that, oh, if you are doing reaction, you are going to have haters, people are going to throw you, and that's the reason some people stay away from reaction. I, I, I pity you, because if you know that you have the gift for reacting, I know that whatever you are doing is not working for you. You better come and join the reaction, and, and do it. And you get, if you have the gift for it to make your channel grow, come and do it, because you might be better than all the reactors put together on these streets. You never can tell. Your potential might be, you might be very big, you get. But see, let me tell you that, this Vivian is not someone that does celebrity gist. She doesn't do reaction. <clears throat> In fact, she has her own content. You know that reactors, sometimes we talk about people, celebrity reactors, we talk about people, we talk about celebrities. YouTube reactors, we talk about YouTubers. You get the point? So sometimes you see people coming to say, don't talk about my fan, don't talk about my fan, and they, they insult, insult your children. Some of them will open channels for you, eight channels and throw you. And then some of them will come to your comment section and deal with you there and drop eight comments, right? But of course, we are used to it. We are used to it. So we move, okay? We move. Now, so this particular Vivian is none of it, okay? She's not a reactor. She's not YouTube reactor or GIST reactor or any kind of reactor you want to call. She's doing her own content. That is, she develops her own content. Because people always say, React doesn't have content. But they have forgotten that reaction itself is a niche. And the niche is that you talk about what you see on the street. So you cannot go and create your own content and talk about yourself. You'll be bored. Nobody will watch you. You will not grow. If not, you want to, <laughs> you want to do it to please the haters that are talk about, talking about you, then you will not grow. So you better do what works for you, OK? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this particular lady, Vivian, she's actually creating her own content, OK? Even inside creating her own content, haters, they come. According to her, any time these haters come, she just love them. Sometimes she tends to answer them, was was bad boss okay but sometimes she just feel that if you are an actor for you to have that time to come and drop that kind of comment for her it means it shows how frustrated your life is <laughs> she said that it shows how frustrated that person's life is so sometimes she pity haters that she feel that sometimes eh, before you think of dropping that kind of hate comments on somebody mean that your life is frustrated you see that your husband is frustrating at home or your children are frustrating, or you are broke. So you think, you're, you're thinking of life, and you don't know what to do. You want to vent to, uh, on your boss or on your husband for being broke and can't feed you. You want to vent because you're always hungry in your house. You want to vent because your job is not treating you well, and you're seeing one person flourishing, and you feel like, let me insult this person, after this person will not see my face, and you open the eight channel. Or you open one non-existing account and you're a youtuber because sometimes like the bella tv show will tell us that some of these haters that drop comment they are main youtubers they will come and drop comment for you because they're angry at their own channel <laughs> that their channel is not growing so when they see you growing off talking about people they get angry even when you're not insulting the people they get angry according to him 
Don't be deceived. Some of these people dropping comments for you people, dragging you people. They are YouTubers. <laughs> YouTubers that you know. Some of them are even laughing with you behind them. But they will come and carry a comment and come and trash you. Because you know what? They are frustrated. And me too, I reason the team. Do you know that sometimes when you are frustrated and you want to lash out? You want to lash out on somebody. And since you cannot lash out on your broke husband, you cannot lash out on your ogada in your office that is frustrating your life, not paying you good salary, but you want you to work like a jackie, like a donkey. You'll be doing plenty, plenty shift and all that. Yeah, the salary is so small and all that. Uh -huh. So you want to come to YouTube and lash out on people. So sometimes it's true. That lady was right. That sometimes it is because these persons feel this emptiness. They don't feel loved. When they see that you have genuine fans, people that love you, people that, you know, love your gist, they want to come and throw you. And when they see that it's not working, they'll go up and turn it and throw you very well because they want to vent. They want to vent. And if you think it, if you're a normal human being, you just sit down like this, breathe in, mm, breathe out. Mm. Now, think this thing. If you're in a good place, let's assume that somebody just sent you $500 right now eh, as gift. You didn't work for it. They just say, you need to buy wine. At that moment, can you go to YouTube to drop a hate comment for somebody? No. But at that moment, you're thinking of something good. At that moment, you're thinking of, oh, such a good life. I am enjoying my life. Life is sweet. You even come on YouTube when you're still like this. Eh, eh, eh. Hey, hey, you open it until the teeth become dry. Because after that time, you are loving yourself. You are happy. Think it. If not that you are a witch. If not that you are a witch. Why will you come and drop hateful comment on people's comment section? Even when you know deep down that this person does not mean the way this person is, you know, the thing the person is saying. This person is not insulting this is your favorite YouTuber. This person is not insulting your father that you are claiming this YouTuber is my father. This YouTuber is my mother. I will die for this YouTuber. I will keep fighting for this YouTuber. If not that you're a witch, <laughs> if not that your life is jaga jaga, if not that your family is not in a good place, uh, yes, if not, some of you are thinking you are depressed and you feel that the only place, the only time to come to YouTube to cure that depression is by coming to insult people. And is it true? Is it truth? <laughs> is it truth? Yes. Uh, now, See, think it again. Like what I said, think about it. Do you know that when you're in a good place, you don't, you don't like to insult anybody, but there's no time. But when you're angry, your neighbor just beat you, you feel like insulting your neighbor. Your neighbor just say, Madam, how are you? How are you? Good morning. You feel like slapping that your neighbor. Are you getting the point? This is what, so I believe Vivian when she said, <laughs> no haters, no growth. It means that the more you are growing, when they see that you are growing, that's why they come more. And do you know that if you have not grown as a channel like that, eh, even as a reactor, just imagine that you are reacting and you've not grown or they've not locate you. They will not drop that comment for you because they've not see you now. So when they start seeing you and you they see that you are growing, when you start having audience, that time you will not say real eight hours day. Okay, so don't think that it's only reactors or just saw this one and then they get eight hours. Now lie yo. Hey, somebody will get your own vlog by itself, good editing. In fact, I'm even wondering how Vivian of all people have a task because she's a sweet soul, soft spoken, nice vlog, nice camera, everything. And they see their haters like, okay, what are they insulting her for? Because me, I don't even know what they're insulting her for. Or they're trying to say she should go and get married. As in marriage now by force. Is she that old that you are forcing her to go and get married? Must everybody marry at the age of maybe uh, 18 years? Because your auntie married at the age of 18 years or your father. Or your mother married you're 18 years, you want her to marry at your 18 years. I don't I don't understand. Because some of you are so good at what is shaming people that are better than you. Okay, you see that Vivian that is not even married yet. That Vivian can feed your father, feed your mama, feed your husband, and plus your children. That you are coming to drop eight comments on that comment section. You see, people tend to drag people that are doing better than them, and I've understood it. You come out trying to insult somebody. Eh? It's because this person is doing better than you. You see the person growing, like, ah, ah, why is person growing? If you want to do reaction, do the reaction the right way. Do it without insult. Drop your opinion. Drop mic and move, okay? When you start insulting, meaning that this person's... Because to me, I don't know why somebody will even insult Vivian. Because if you look at me and Vivian now, eh, I will say, okay, me, I can be receiving haters because ah, I'm talking about people. So it's bound for me to have haters like 
and I accept it because the way I might talk about Nello KK, they might not like it. The way I might go and talk about that now, they might not like it. Now I talk about editorial, they might not like it. But at least I know, so okay, oh, I'm bound to have it. But what's with Vivian? So like Vivian that has good, good everything. What did she do on her? But she has passed the message that it's when these persons are not at peace in their homes that they come on YouTube to drop such comments. And I agree. Because if I'm not angry with somebody, I don't see reason why I should drop a comment. That's why sometimes people say that uh, YouTubers are creating fake accounts. And I'll be like, why would I even create fake accounts? When I'm always very happy. I'm always happy to bring content for you, reply your comments, read your comments and laugh, play with you and all that on the streets. So why would I want to carry eight comments? Like, go and get another account and be dropping eight comments. Even to my own haters. Eh? Where they will get eight channels? Eh? I don't even have time to watch them. Talk less of me not going to create accounts to go and be insulting them under their conversation. No need now. Nah. Because they're already frustrated. You get the point? So I'm just here to tell you that <laughs> if you're aspiring to grow, just know that it has to come. Because if you know Vivian, for someone like Vivian to have it has, ah, oh, Barreo, your own is coming on the way. And I pray for you to have the it has because I pray for you to grow as my subscribers. You guys know I'm always here to encourage you guys, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm here to give you this word of encouragement again. Do not give up. Even if you see 108 comments, if, I, if all the, the, the comments under your comment section is eight, continue. Mm -hmm. All that matters is that what? You are growing. And there is one thing about it has. The more you do better, at a point yeah, they will get used to it and they might end up loving you okay guys please do have to subscribe to my channel if this is the first time you are seeing me here yeah? okay like this video share if you can peace out bye